Greetings, knights and peasants. My name is Ronald the King, and I'm playing part two of Outlast. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good series so far. I enjoy it. It's not as scary as everybody says it is, though. Um, yeah. We already saw what we need to see here. Um, so, the only thing left to do is to go to the next area. We've got to find a security room, I think? Yeah. So. Okay. Um, he was obviously very mad at that door over there, wasn't he? Um, let's open up this door here. What's in here? Some cleaning supplies? How dare they? Wonder what's behind door number two. Anything suspicious? Shut up, cat. Witness. God, Jehovah's Witnesses, that's scary. Shut up, cat. I'll give you some treats. So yeah, I'm back. The cat, she wanted some treats, and if I don't give her the treats, then she's bitching at me, and um, I don't really like that, and she doesn't really like it. She doesn't get treats, so basically nobody wins in that situation. And... Yeah, it's kind of like the if mama's not happy, you're not happy kind of situation. It's just exactly that way. And, ooh, what's, what's this guy doing? Let's investigate this for a second. I think that that guy was bludgeoned. Don't ask me why. And, God, this toilet's so expensive. I bet it costs an arm and a leg. Um... Shut the hell up! Okay. Um. Yeah. You guys want to see my cat? You guys want to see my key cat? It's my cat. She needs to shut the hell up. Angry. Let's check this place across the hall. What's in here? Ooh. That's what's neat. Huh. And that's quite the blood splatter. That is too. Ooh! Battery. Mm -hmm. Oh, can't get in there. It's boarded up. Obvious. Let's go run over here. It's down this hall hallway over here. Get in the control room. <laughs> Security room. Boarded up. What's in this room back here? Hmm. It's back here. Another guy, um, ooh. Does not look comfortable. Ooh, more to read. Let's read it, guys. Read the document. Project Wall Rider Probability Report or something? Um, from Helen Granite to group 8416 at MurkoffCorp.lu. Subject, Project Wall Rider On-Site Inspection. Dear Sirs, with a full report pending, no immediate action is required on the part of Murkoff Corp, as the profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints have proven sufficiently effective to ensure continued control and profit, respectively. Helen Granite. Hmm. So they're talking about a specific person that's really dangerous, basically. Yeah, Murkoff Legal Mitigation Department. So, shut up, cat. Shut up, cat. Can't get in there. Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're still people. We didn't choose this. 
Wow. That's pretty crazy. Someone's scared. Let's run. No, 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 no. Shut the hell up. Quit rolling in circles down there. God damn. Yeah. Ronald the King and his cat plays in this episode. Fuck. Over here, maybe? Shut the hell up, cat. Pick up a battery. That might become useful later. Run. No, no, no. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Anything useful through here? I think this is just a um, stock room here to board things down a little bit, make things a little bit less jump back. Yeah. Ooh, it looks like a notebook. Beautiful. Play documents. Project Wallrider Patient Status Report for Chris Walker. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Project Wallrider, Mountain Massive Company, Case Number 136, Patient Initials, CLW, Walker. Consultation dated 2013-05-28. Initial date of patient consult, January 28, 2011. And so Walker was the guy they were talking about earlier, right? So Walker would get us killed either way. Wow, so Walker's the head guy. He's probably that priest. Let's see. Patient age, 32. Gender male. Observing physician, Dr. Rudolf Wernick. Notation by Dr. Walsh. Therapy status, morphogenic. Engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress among stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostic, experimentary. Revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients' reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Walker's the big guy. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows him for a truer way of seeing seems to have some boyhood experience with Tutara lizards and their parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be regarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. My cat wants me to go to bed with her. Ew. Um, ooh, we're supposed to peek. For this doorway, maybe? Uh, I think I did that wrong. Let's try it again. Catch you on camera, bitch. Shut the hell up! God, you're lucky you don't rip your little head off! Ugh. Okay. Um, he's not gonna do anything, is he? He didn't do anything. Huh. Quiet room. Static channel. I dig, I dig. Need a little bit of background noise while you um, do things. He looks like he's just chilling. Um, he actually looks kind of sad. What's wrong, buddy? You marked your legs up and arms up? Okay. He's depressed. I'm not a psychologist, though, okay, so I can't help him. So, I'm just gonna leave. Where do I leave? Well, let's go over here. Hmm. Slowly open this door. Uh oh, is there someone over there? They're watching TV too? No, that's scary. 
batch. We know where to take this. Go ahead and run. Actually, let's read those two notes real quick. There's a note. Two notes, actually. The witness. I'm already beat up all to hell. That was what that was where we read in this toilet stall. I'm already beat up to hell. Picking broken glass out of my scalp. A couple cracked ribs. Nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. <laughs> oh, it's not funny. Yeah, yeah, it is. He throws me th through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up in some dowdy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. We agree on something. There are words sprawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling with my gut that priest is writing them. And for my benefit. So, yeah. Broken men and dead television. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Yeah. Yep. Sounds about right. Huh. Yeah, we gotta crawl under here again so we can get over there. I'm sure of it. Unless. We get through here. Maybe. Uh, doesn't look like it. Let's go underneath here. Run through here. Hi, we'll forget. Ah! God damn it. Get them out, please. The doctor is dead. The doctor is dead. Rip them out. I don't think that has anything to do with this story, I just think he's crazy. What's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> Not so tough now, are ya? He's <laughs> pooped on you. Um, I'm gonna run away before he retaliates. <gasps> Is that unlocked now? Now that random stuff happens, is this randomly unlocked? I love it. This isn't that kind of game. Things aren't random. You actually have to do objectives. The objectives make sense. Whoa, man. Concepts. I need to recharge my batteries so I can... What am I doing? Yeah, sorry guys, I had to fiddle around with my controls for some reason. It was. Ooh, really? Shit. Behind me, that's crazy. This orients the shit out of me, but you know, it's pretty cool. Let's run up here. Run back to that security room. Immediately. Sweet. Let's get in, slowly. Wow. Pretty beautiful. Let's actually sh shut this. Actually, if we need to make a quick escape, I think we should leave it open. Shut the hell up! Wait, that didn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, actually. Ooh, security cameras. I get to see everything that's going on. Fuck you. No. Uh-oh. Start the generator in the basement. Oh shit, it's locked. Huh. Oh, it's you again. I see how you are. Shut the hell. Shut up. Round two, motherfucker. God, no. That's a bad idea. Oh god, I got disoriented. I'm running. Run. Running. Running again. I'm 
running again. Still running. Running. Ugh. Can't find me here. Can't find me here, right? I'm in a fucking fireplace. Best place ever. That's the sound of victory, guys. He just beat his ass. No big thing. Well, I'm the king here. Seriously? He's still not giving up? Come on, give up, man. You ain't gonna find me. I'm in a fireplace. There's no way. Perfect. Bad ass. I love it. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to let you guys be. Um, thanks for tuning in for the video. If you liked it, then go ahead and click that annotation to see the next one. Um, I love it when you guys watch my videos. Stay tuned for the next one. Um, beat that guy's ass. Round two goes to us. Hopefully it'll be a round three. Um, actually, I don't think there will be because that was a bad idea. But see you guys next time. Bye.